In this video, I'll show you how to use PowerShell Universal templates. Templates allow you to export uh, configurations and then import those configurations uh, without having to build everything from scratch again. So the other cool thing about templates is that you can share your existing templates with users in the PowerShell Universal community. We have some uh, existing templates that you can download so you can check out PowerShell Universal or build tools without actually having to build them by hand. So first of all, to get a template, we're going to go through the import functionality. So on the Ironman software website, you'll see that we have a new template section for PowerShell Universal. Inside here, you'll see that we have uh, three templates at the moment, and uh, they include the PowerShell Universal demo, the Active Directory template, and the Windows System Information template. Uh, if you look at one of these templates, such as this PowerShell Universal demo, you'll see that it has some screenshots, and this template, in, uh, for example, has uh, a bunch of different components that you can look at. Um, it has uh, some dashboards, it has some APIs, and it also has some scripts. So this isn't super useful, but it uh, kind of demonstrates the PowerShell Universal ecosystem because it has a lot of different functionality in, included in it. Um, if we go back to the templates, though, we do have um, some templates that are pretty useful to kind of get up and running with a tool in your environment. For example, this Active Directory template allows you to reset passwords, restore deleted users, manage group membership, and search for objects. So if you look at some of the uh, screenshots here, you'll see that we have a restore deleted user table as well as an object search table. So let's go ahead and get this template in imported into my environment. So first of all, I'm going to download the template, um, and that's just going to store a PSU PKG file in my uh, downloads folder. Now we'll jump over to our PowerShell Universal instance here. So I'm running PowerShell Universal 2.1.2, and I'm just going to log in with the default um, admin credentials. So as you can see, I have a, an empty environment here. Um, there's no variables or scripts set up. There aren't any dashboards running or anything like that. But if I want to import that template, what I can do is click Settings, Configurations, and then click this Import Template button. What that's going to do is it's going to open my uh, a file uh, dialog, browser dialog, and I want to select my Active Directory template. So I'm going to click open on that, and then it's going to give me some information about this template. As you can see at the top, it has things like version, author, and description, um, and then below that it actually has variables. So this particular template um, allows you to enter variables for your environment. So the dashboard was built in a way that these variables are used when communicating with Active Directory. So if I specify my Active Directory server and credentials, um, it's going to actually use those variables rather than um, hard coding them into the template. So I'm going to use the, my server IP address here, and then I'm going to enter my credentials. Um, the credentials are going to be stored in the um, kind of built-in vault inside Windows. So now that my template's been applied, what you'll notice is uh, first of all, I have a dashboard that's up and running now. Uh, it's this Active Directory dashboard, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. The other thing that was imported are my variables. So you can see that my Active Directory server was set, and my credentials were also set into this environment. So now I can use these variables throughout the product. So I can use them in dashboards, APIs, or scripts. But the dashboard itself actually takes advantage of these variables. So um, if we go and click View on this dashboard, you're going to see that the Groups page is going to show up. But we also have a bunch of other pages. We have things like reset password, restore deleted user, and object search. So for example, if I wanted to search for an object environment, I could put a filter in here. This is using a standard um, you know, get AD object filter that you would use. Uh, I can include things like deleted objects. And then when I click Submit, it's actually going to go out to my Active Directory server. And you can see that it has found uh, these objects with that particular filter. I can also click View Object to go out and see uh, various properties of this uh, particular object. So it's actually returning all the AD properties for this object. There are also tools for um, you know, doing things like managing group membership. So if I look up administrators, you can see who's in the administrator group. And if I wanted to search for someone like John Smith, I could add him to that administrator group. And now he's actually part of that group in Active Directory. So as you can see here, this is really quick to kind of get up and running um, with a PowerShell Universal um, template that allows me to do a lot of stuff in um, Active Directory with minimal configuration. Next, let's look at creating our own template and uh, exporting it from PowerShell Universal. 
Now that we looked at how to import a template into PowerShell Universal, let's look at how to create our own template and export it from PowerShell Universal. So I've cleaned out my environment and started fresh again. So I have a blank PowerShell Universal environment, um, no APIs, automation, scripts, or dashboards. But let's just kind of go ahead and create some of that stuff. So for example, I want to have a test endpoint. Um, inside that endpoint, I'm actually going to use a variable. I'm just going to call that my var and return that from um, universal. And I'm actually going to create a variable, my var inside, um, inside my environment here. And this is just my value. And then I will click OK there. Um, and then I'm going to create a script that also uses that variable, my var viewer. I'll click OK there. And then inside my script, we'll just use my var. Uh, finally, I'm going to create a dashboard that also will display that variable. So we'll just have a button on our dashboard. We'll turn on auto deploy, and that'll start up. Um, now let's just view our dashboard. It's going to take a second before it's available. And while that's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to update this dashboard um, to show UD toast and the message will be my var. And then we'll save that. And as you can see here, it updated the dashboard. I can click this and you can see my value for that variable is being returned. Additionally, I should be able to see my var inside the output of this test endpoint. For some reason, that's not working. Um, and then inside my script, if I run my script, you will see that my value comes out of there. Um, all right, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to export this particular configuration as a um, configuration template. So what you can do is you can click on Settings, Configurations, and then you can click Export Configuration as Template. So this allows you to enter some information about your template. Uh, we're just going to call this our demo template. It's by me. Uh, you can add some descriptions. This will show up on the website if you decide to upload it there, uh, as well inside, as inside PowerShell Universal when it is importing the template. So this is a demo template. And then you can include a version so um, people understand if you've upgraded um, various functionality and that kind of thing. But this is our first version of this demo template. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see now it actually exported that demo template dot um, PSU PKG file um, to my downloads directory. So it actually contains everything about this particular configuration. It has the various configuration scripts and it has information about the variables that we've actually configured for this environment. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start fresh and import our template back into PowerShell Universal. I've actually cleaned out the repository directory again and I'm going to log in to PowerShell Universal. Again, this is a clean environment. Um, as you can see here, we have no scripts, APIs, or dashboards. If we go to Settings, Configurations, and click Import Template again, you'll see that I have my demo template available inside my download directory. If I click Open there, you'll see that it's information about my template. You can see my description shows up, the version and author show up, as well as the variable that I wanted to set shows up. So my value, one, two, three. Now that I've imported my template, what you'll see is that I have various things imported. So I have my dashboard that we created with the button. I have my automation script that I created, as well as the variable that I just set, um, as well as the API. So now I can go ahead and actually click Invoke Script, run that script, and you'll see the output of my variable is now available in the output of my script. So in this video, we looked at how to um, import PowerShell Universal templates from the PowerShell Universal Template Library. We also looked at how to export and create our own templates, as well as import them back into a fresh PowerShell Universal instance. You can download PowerShell Universal from ironmansoftware.com downloads.